Okay, so we're going to cook baby bolognese now. So just turn on the gas to a medium heat and then add one to two tablespoons of olive oil into your pot. So we're using olive oil here, but if you wanted to instead, you could use rapeseed oil. So it's a bit lower in saturated fat and it has the really good omega fatty acids that are really important for baby's brain and eye development. Okay, so the olive oil is warm now. I'm just gonna add in one chopped onion, one to two cloves of garlic, which I have grated, but just chopped finely will do. And cook that now until the onion and the garlic are soft. That'll take a couple of minutes on a low heat. So the bolognese makes a really good one pot meal for the family, just as long as you take out a portion for baby before you would add any salt or anything for yourself. So stir this frequently to prevent it sticking to the bottom of the pot. Once the onion is soft, you add in the mince, and I'm using a really lean mince, 200 grams. This recipe is a great way to introduce red meat to baby's diet. A lot of people seem to think you can't give baby meat until they are a little bit older, but it's actually suitable from the early stages of weaning once it's well cooked. And it's a really good source of iron for their brain development. So I'm looking to brown the mince now and mix it in with the onion and garlic. So once the meat is browned, add in a tin of tomatoes. So making your own sauce like this is a really good idea, using chopped tomatoes and garlic, you know, flavouring with things like that rather than shop-bought sauces, because those can be a bit high in salt sometimes. And the tomatoes as well add a really good source of vitamin C, which aids iron absorption. I'm going to add in now one, so it's about half a stalk of celery that I've finely chopped. and a tablespoon of tomato puree. Give that a stir and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So once the bolognese is cooked, you can turn off the gas. And you can remove a small bit to puree for your baby. So we've pureed slightly the baby's portion. It's still got some texture to it. Yeah, so this is a stage two weaning recipe. So at this stage, they should be having minced and mashed textures. Really important to increase the texture as you go through the weaning process because it develops the mouth muscles and also their ability to speak. So I've mixed that through with some pasta. And then for the adult portion, you can add some seasoning if you want at this stage for the grown-ups and again serve that with some pasta. So it's a handy recipe for the whole family. And pasta as well, some people think that you can't give that to baby, just regular pasta, but it is suitable from six months even though it does contain gluten. So gluten should be introduced at around six months of age and before seven months. So at this stage of weaning, meals should be about two to four tablespoons in size for baby. So that's from about six to nine months. So each meal about two to four tablespoons.